Hi, my name is Stella and I am a violin teacher and on today's lesson we will practice together Minuet number no. 1 from Volume 1 from Suzuki Method. It is composed by Johann Sebastian Bach and it's played in Allegretto in a very uh, happy and uh, fast manner and also the BPM is 66 per half dotted note. As usual we need to practice slow in the beginning so we can get used to the notes, we know the notes, we know the use of the bow and after we are practicing slow then we can speed up slowly slowly until we reach the normal tempo that is required on the piece. So Allegretto is usually played on 120 BPM so it is a fast piece and like faster than that. So we'll start with 60 BPM and uh, beat the tempo is going to be 3-4. Okay, so we're going to play one measure out without playing. Then we're going to start playing. So as I'm playing, I will stop and explain the use of the bow. So how we use the bow and uh, also I'm going to explain some of the dynamics in the piece like the forte, the piano, mezzo forte. In this uh, particular piece in Minuet, we have mezzo forte and piano mostly. We don't have forte. And also the repeating signs that we have to go through repeating parts. Okay, so ready? Let's get started. Get your metronome, get your violin, and we are ready to play together. So I'm going to start right now. So that was the first measure, and the first measure has a ta ta ta. It's one quarter note played with a whole bow, and the other two quarter notes are together in one bow with a slur on top and staccato. So they sound like this again. So that was the first measure. So you can play that measure as many times as you think you can play it or if you think that you are playing it right or it sounds right like it sounds when I play. So you have to basically copy me. Okay? So one more time. So that was the first measure. The second measure is a quarter note, two eighth notes and another quarter note and it sounds like this. One more time. One more time. Ta. With the metronome together, we can sing it. Ta, ti, ti, ta. So singing helps to memorize the melody, and this way you can play it on the instrument easily. By memorizing the melody, then you know what you're playing. So it is helpful to sing it. If you don't want to sing the notes, you can just sing ta ti ti ta or you can say b a b g you can say the notes or you can just sing the rhythm like ta ti ti ta they both help okay with the playing so let's play one more time and i have to mention that the titis are played at the upper part of the bow and the quarter notes, the tas are played with the whole bow. So one whole bow, two tides, and another whole bow. So one more time. Then I will go to the third measure. So I played the third and the fourth measure. 
which was ta 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 tu ta. So it was also like the beginning, the third measure. Quarter notes, which one quarter note is played with the whole bow and the other two quarter notes are tied with a slur and then they have a staccato. And the fourth measure was a half note using the whole bow and also a quarter note using the whole bow. So let's play from the beginning up to the fourth measure together. Letting one measure play out without us playing. the fifth measure which is half note sorry it's a quarter note and then they are four eighth notes which are played at the upper part of the bow so they are played like this so one more time and then let's use a metronome the whole part which we have to repeat again because it's a repeating sign so if you have the book in front of you if you have the volume one from Suzuki method and we're playing the minuet one so that is also on page 26 so if you go on page 26 and uh, you open the book there you will see that on the second line it's a repeating sign so then from the G, you have to go in the beginning and play again the whole thing, the whole eighth measures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight measures. Yes, correct. So yeah, they are eight measures. So we play them again from the beginning. So let's start playing together. second part of the piece it starts with piano and it's a quarter note and then a half note and the other measure is quarter note eighth notes quarter note and the other measure is three quarter notes separate so let's start from the repeating sign again which starts with a B and then E sign which starts on the letter B and then it's a E which is a half note
I played till the end of the piece. So we have a few dynamics, if you heard them. So we had piano, mezzo forte, and piano. And we have the eighth notes played always, some of them at the part, the upper part of the bow, and some of them they were played at the down part of the bow. So, for example, here we played them on the upper part. And then here we're going to play them at the bottom. The eighth notes. Then the polar notes are using the whole bow. And then we have a piano here. We we're going to the middle of the bow to play the piano. slow down a little bit at the end so let's play from the beginning till the end and this time let's try to play a little bit faster so I will put it on 80 and we play one measure out without playing and then we start playing So we went out of the tempo and that's what happens. So because when we perform, we don't perform with a metronome, right? So that was kind of uh, something that we practiced without the metronome, but I practiced with the metronome, so that's fine. But while you practice, maybe you don't slow down at the end of the piece, just practice the usual rhythm. And then try once without the metronome. After you practice several times with the metronome, try to practice a few times without the metronome. Because when you perform, you don't have a metronome in front of you. Okay? So those are my tips about practicing. You have to slow down. You have to practice measure by measure. And this will help you in the long run uh, with playing the violin beautifully. And